Hi, I'm Eka from Realtizen. Today I'd like to talk about architectural design in virtual reality. Virtual reality technology is developing rapidly and has already found many uses in various fields. Here at Realtizen, we use real-time rendered virtual reality to create immersive and interactive architectural visualization experiences. Architectural virtual reality is an amazing tool because it allows you to create a one-to-one -one replica of your project before it's constructed, allowing you to effectively communicate your architectural ideas and everything from scale and massing to detailed components and materiality. I would like to show you how you can not only visualize projects in virtual reality but actually design them. We'll be showing you a quick demo of how we use the HTC Vive and the Unreal Engine's VR Editor to do exactly that. I come from an architectural background and when I started my studies I quickly noticed the difficulty in converting my intuitive understanding of spaces into scale drawings. I think we all know from my everyday experience how high is a desk, how big is a door, or whether a space feels small or generous. To translate this into a project you would usually need to know the exact dimensions of the elements, requiring you to either measure them or use common practices. I think sometimes this can make designing spaces more difficult and constrained because you are relying on your interpretation of dimensional representations of intuitive experiences. As designers, we are used to thinking in planar views like plans and sections. Virtual reality allows us to take a step directly into design and really engage with the space from a user's perspective. I think the main benefit of designing virtual reality is that it's much less constrained compared to 3D modeling packages, which makes it a great tool for both conceptual design and detailed development. The motion controllers are intuitive and flexible input devices that allow you to create spaces and elements around you in an unconstrained way. You can use your entire body as part of the design and create the space around you. It's a very quick way to check the proportions of a space and how it feels in human scale. Designing within virtual reality is the next step forward in 3D modeling and the ways in which designing in first person from within the space can benefit the design process are numerous. It's a great way to test out complicated ideas and also communicate them very quickly and intuitively as you can quite literally put someone else inside your mind's eye and they can walk around the virtual environment that you have imagined and created. This can be very rewarding and highlight important aspects of the project that were previously not thought about, especially when designing spaces with complicated arrangements or unique components like stairs and furniture. You can also apply different materials directly in the scene to test out the relationships between lighting, materiality and scale. In this case, the base geometry was exported from Revit, and once we are finished we can import the virtual reality design back into our BIM model. We started the design with very basic components, but you can add to the scene and develop it further with more detailed elements, textures and lighting. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter to keep up to date with our Shelter is one of the most fundamental parts of the human condition. It's essential to our survival as it protects us from nature's elements. And over the course of history, the discipline of architecture has produced absolutely astonishing structures inspired by traditions, ideologies, and beliefs. As virtual reality advances and becomes more affordable, we're going to spend more and more time immersed in virtual environments where we play, create, learn, and explore. VR gives us the creative power to mold our surroundings with unprecedented freedom that's not bound by physics, natural resources, or economics. And it doesn't stop there. You can change the weather, turn off gravity, and have doorways that defy spatial limitations, leading us to worlds with inconceivable physics and impossible structures. 
But buildings are much more than just aesthetically pleasing artifacts. They serve a social function. It's where we spend time with people we care about. Today our friendships mostly live behind glass screens, scattered across social networks. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could travel around the world and experience what it's like to visit the most famous buildings and landmarks all from your laptop? With the Spacemaker virtual reality system, you can do this. And what's even better is now you can experience your own designs. The Spacemaker system comes out of 16 years of work in architecture and interactive media. I've created nearly every kind of prototype imaginable to experience my designs, but none of them have offered the realism I'm looking for. A number of companies like Oculus and Omni are creating new hardware to take gaming to the next level, but up until now, no one's created a way for me as a designer to experience my designs. Spacemaker is both a VR viewer and model creation workflow that enables you to export your models out of the software you're already using into a very realistic viewing experience. Over the past months, I've been working closely with WorldViz, a leading virtual reality company, to create the first prototype of the Spacemaker system. I am super excited. As an architect and designer, I'm drawing all the time. But I very rarely go without a roll of tracing paper and, you know, and felt pens. Clients love nothing more than to be in a cafe or a restaurant, rolling out a piece of tracing and, and actually drawing and sketching with them, in front of them. It makes it very, very collaborative when that happens. Freehand sketching is incredibly important to us. I'm David Leonard um, and I'm Director of Leonard Design Architects. Being architects, communication clearly is, is one of the most important attributes that we need to have. Through the work that we do, we are affecting how cities are built and how people walk through them, how they use them. You know, at the forefront of what we do is all about communication and communicating ideas. As a company, we've always embraced new technology. As the industry has moved forward, so have we. Virtual reality puts us into a different plane altogether. Put the headset on and literally we can walk around and it's as simple as that. We can draw the plans, we can then you know, extrude buildings, we can create the spaces, create the shapes. We can now bring that sketching stage where you're communicating very quickly right to the forefront. For the clients, for the first time, actually really can go into a building. You can look up, you can look across, you can turn around what's in between you. You can actually go upstairs, you can become a drone, you can start flying outside. It allows us to work in a faster way, a more collaborative way in a way. Actually sketching or drawing something out in three dimensions and then being able to look, literally look around it, it allows us to communicate our ideas a lot quicker. We can problem solve 
very, very quickly and very clearly indeed. So the communications part of all of that is just amazing, it's just awesome. There are not many people doing this at all. We really are at the forefront of this, again, maintaining ourselves as leading in the industry that we're in. I think the future is all about communicating. The ability to be able to communicate better and better and better. I think this technology just makes the understanding just so much easier and that's why we want it. That's the exciting future.